Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 6, Episode 3. This is another good episode with a great variety of painters. Let's get started. If you would consider it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. YouTube loves a thumbs up. So let's look at the participants first. This is the first one up. Ooh, I really like this one. Wow, I can't wait to see what he does today. Oh, remember, these are the self-portraits that they submit in order to be selected for the program. Wow, another good one. Oh boy, this is going to be a good episode. Wow, this is, this is exciting. All right, let's see what our next participant is. Remember, we're going to have nine different participants and three models. Oh, that's an unusual presentation. You always like to see how artists represent themselves in a self-portrait, you know, with some new ideas or concepts. Oh, these are all good painters. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a delight. So this is, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this now. Oh, look, she, <laughs> she kind of color coordinates with her picture. I really like that. Oh, I recognize her. She's been on this, um, she's been on this program before. Oh, he's been on this program before too. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, some people come back for a second time. I've seen some people come back three times in, in a row. Here's the next one. These are, these are all looking like they're going to be really good paintings. Now, remember they had all the time in the world to do these self-portraits that they submit. And what they're going to have today is only four hours. So there's a time constraint at play here. And here is our last participant. All right. This is going to be a good episode. All right, since this is episode three, our first model, our first celebrity model up is Len Goodman. He's a professional ballroom dancer. And in America, I think we know him perhaps from a program called Dancing with the Stars, which I watched once. I think he's in some hot water now. Um, but, but I don't want to gossip without knowing for sure. He's a very tall and elegant man, I would say. So they put him in front of a blue drapery, and let's see what our artists do. Three hours into the episode, they turn their easels around, and we get to see what they've done. Here's the first one up, and I only got a couple of screenshots of this one. I would have liked to have one from further away. Um, looks like a good job to me. <laughs> it, um, boy, there's some beautiful drawing going on there. So this person, oh, I see, it's a pastel. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful job. Um, there's something really compelling about it. And you can see that the forms have a certain weight and roundness to them. So good job there. Oh, I did get a couple more. Wait a second. I, I did. That's right. We came on closer. And now we can get to see some of the blue highlights that have been put in there. And let's see. Oh, and some really warm reds and orange tones. Oh, that's really nice. Really playing with compliments here. Blue against orange. That was really smart. And since the whole head tilts toward warmth with redness and orange, having that green drapery emphasized behind was, was really smart. All right, here's the second one up. Um, ooh, oh, I really like this one, but, but I, I don't recognize the sitter in it at all. Huh. That's that's funny, and yet yet I really like the application of paint, and I like the um, I like the the way the paint has been handled on paper. It's a beautiful job. Oh boy, right there! Oh, that's the money shot. That's that's really nicely done. The problem is when you pull back, it doesn't have any kind of um, weight or heft to it. It just doesn't have enough um, hue, you know, color. Um, added to those mixes in order for it to read from far away, but but it's beautiful from close up. Really, really nice. All right, the next one up is one that I'm not as crazy about. It's it's it has some proportion problems, and you know I don't think it really looks like our sitter. It's very very flat, and um, I like that there's a warm t warm tones in the face and coolness in the suit and in the background, but. But it's a pretty flat painting. 
I, I don't see a roundness of forms. This is just somebody who, who probably hasn't been painting for nearly as long as some of the other contestants. I, I don't know, and I don't know the age of the contestants, but, but that doesn't matter. We're talking about time on canvas or time on paper, not necessarily how old you are. And so Len picks one to take home, and he picks this one, and that makes sense. I think this one really captured him. That's a nice job. Our next model is Harriet Walter. I have been a quiet fan of hers for a long, long time. Everything she's in, she's just a wonderful British actress. Sometimes it's comedy, most often it's drama. She has a quiet elegance about her that, that I just think is, is absolutely beautiful. And um, oh, we're probably around the same age, so I may be feeling a little camaraderie with, with sort of the aging process. But four hours in, the artists turn their easels around and we get our first look. Oh, this looks so promising. Oh boy, oh boy. Boy, and she's gonna have a, uh, wow, she's gonna have some nice choices to make about which one she's gonna take home, which has nothing to do with the final judging. So let's at the look at the first one up. Wow, that is a fantastic drawing. Colored pencil, beautifully done. My gosh, you can't even see any guide marks on there. How did the person do that? Oh my goodness. Seems to me you would have to grid in or have some guide marks of some kind, but I don't see any. It looks like it just fully was realized on the paper. And there's a roundness to the forms. There's a weight. Really, really nice job. Here's a close-up. Oh my gosh. I mean, we're talking about even individual hairs. Whew, in four hours, well, I tip my hat. Oh boy, I can feel it already. I'm crazy about this one, so um, I don't know yet, but it's probably not going to win because <laughs> it's my, so far, it's my favorite. Oh, my favorites seldom win. On to the next one. Oh, this is a beautiful one, too. Um, oh, but I have to say it, it, uh, it, it, it doesn't look like her. I mean, it has a resemblance to her, but, but not much. But let's see. But as a painting, I really like the painting. It's because I like I tend to like simplified paintings with simplified uh, strokes being used. I don't tend to like overly detailed work, and yet that first one really blew me out of the park. This is really beautiful. Something about it is reminding me of Julie Andrews and a Mary Poppins vibe. I don't know what. Oh, I do like how, how soft all the edges are, too. Here's the third one. This is pretty harsh, and I don't think the design choices in the background were so great. You know, um, that, I, I, um, boy, that orange square and the red square underneath, that, that should have continued, that red should have continued all the way, shouldn't have left that weird box at the bottom of her chin. That's just a design thing. Oh, here we go. See now, crop, that's, that's better design. Um, it's a nice job, but I'm not really compelled to want to see more. This person is more like what I call a matchy-matchy painter, matching his colors to what he sees in front of him, which is beautifully done. There's no, I really don't have a problem with it at all. It's just not the kind of painting that really excites me. Now Harriet has to choose one, and I don't know which one she's going to pick. So let's see. Oh, she picks this one. Well, that is a surprise. Real surprise. But she'll be very happy with it. So good job. Now on to the next one. All right, the next one is <laughs> Tiny Temper. Oh boy, I, I wrote it out phonetically according to Google, so I don't know if I said that correctly or not, but I, I, I stand by what I got, Tiny. And Tiny is a British rapper, and they put him in front of this sort of pinkish background. So not that that's here nor there, but let's see if the artists consider that. They turn their easels around, and we get a look at the three paintings that they're going to have him choose from. Here's the first one. That's a nice one. Looks good to me. A lot of activity going on in the gestures of the paint. Maybe a little bit, maybe just a tad too much. Uh, my eye wants a quiet place to land as well. You know, that's one of the things we really haven't talked about in these recaps is the rhythm in a painting. You want to have some active areas and then you want to have some quieter areas. And this is a, this is a very active painting. But it's an exciting painting too, so um, so good for the artist. 
Now we'll go on to the next one. This is the one that I really like is the best uh, of this group and perhaps of the day. Um, it has to do with how intensely bright that background is. Now I know that sounds silly because all the work is done really in the face and in the body. You know, all those, there were about a million decisions made and here I am saying that, you know, the background is my favorite part. That sounds insulting. But that background only appears brighter than the, the paint coming out of the tube because the artists themselves were so careful about graying down all the other colors in the foreground. And you can see that when you look up closely here, there is so much gray in the face, but those grays lean toward red or violet. They're always leaning toward a, that supporting color as opposed to being completely neutral. You know, a complete neutral would be probably more where you can see the beard. Now this fella has been on the program before and he does this thing where he I almost feel like, um, you know when you see a tin can and it's crushed? I feel like that's what he does or that's how he sees the uh, different models. And what he does is he kind of compresses them and collapses them and twists them in some way. So this is his thing, and who am I to argue with it? You know, nobody. Again, Portrait Artist of the Year, the final prize is a commission to be done for a major gallery, and you know, this isn't gonna work because, uh, not just because of style, but it is done in pencil. I don't know that it, that's gonna carry the gravitas that the final uh, winner is, go is going to have to um, step up to. So here's the pick that Teeny takes. Nice. All right, so he liked the very active painting. I do too. I just want I just want to go in and quiet it a little bit. The judging begins and all the artists are lined up and only three will be selected for the final judging today. And from those three, only one will be selected to go on to the finals. And the finals will probably be episode nine. And I think that means that there will be eight participants when we get there. And so far, uh, this will be our third, I believe. Yeah, this is our third entrant. Well, we don't know yet. One of these three will go on. So I, I don't disagree with this at all. This is a fine work. And, um, and let's go on to the next one. Next one is one of Len, the one he chose to take home. Beautiful. Okay. So, so far, two of them have been paintings that, pe that the uh, models have chosen to take home. The third one is not one that the artist chose to take home, but it is my favorite. <laughs> Which means, uh, spoiler alert, there's no way it'll be picked as one of the final paintings. That's just uh, what happens with, you know, the, the judges and I disagree. And I watch with the sound off, so I'm not unhappy. Oh, this is I, this was the first self-portrait. No, we get to see the self-portraits next to the painting that they did today. One they had more time with, the one they had today was four hours. When we saw this, at the very beginning when we were showing, when they were showing the artists with their self-portraits, this kind of took my breath away. It's just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I do want to see more of his work. That's, that's, that's exciting stuff. I don't, something happened. Oh, I got distracted by the hand of the uh, painting on the right. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one caught my attention. First of all, it's a beautiful drawing. No, I mean, absolutely beautiful drawing. So unusual to put your, put, uh, yourself in a dress and and but um but it's not a gimmick it's not a gimmick because they've got the actual skills to back it up and of the um participants for len i think this was the best one so good so far i'm i'm real pleased with the finalists they've chosen let's see who the third one is oh the third one is this one. Oh, oh Oh, the drawing of uh, the, the drawing of Harriet didn't make it. Wow, I, the one that I was really crazy about. But uh, but I'm pretty crazy about this one too. I'm a real fan of this one. I also like the format that she picked. She picked a long, thin format for her self-portrait and the bird on her head. I love a bird on a head. And then the format today is also um, not as long and thin, but long and thin. So she's willing to experiment with format. All right, the final judging. Here they are, all three lined up. Oh, that one on the right is so nice. That See, that's the one I would pick because the final uh, task is to do that portrait piece. It's got to read really well. So let's see. The winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, they picked one I like. Oh, I'm thrilled about that. 
Well, so we will go on to episode four. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.